D from Survivor 45 is a horrible human being. And if you're going to be one of those people who say, she didn't do anything wrong, it's all Wendell's fault, you can stop watching the video right now. I don't need your absolute brain dead takes in the comments. After all, it does take two to tango. And if you're not caught up with the story, pretty much Wendell the Weenie from Ghost Island, which Dom should have won, but that's besides the point, he has been cheating on his wife with the winner of the newest season of Survivor, D. Hmm, maybe that's why Austin got three jury votes, because she's a horrible human, but they don't show that on the show, do they? Now, you might be wondering to yourself, how do I know this? Well, I did the unspeakable. I went on Twitter, or I guess X now, and saw this. Wendell, Survivor 36 winner, has apparently been cheating on his girlfriend and mother of his two children with recent winner of Survivor 45. His girlfriend found out about his secret relationship after Wendell gifted Dee a bracelet which was shown in recent Instagram pictures. Now, let's look at some of the very smart people in the replies. I hope Dee sues you for creating a hate campaign against her by spreading misinformation. This person is very informed and definitely not a sociopath. Dee needs to run! I can drive her far away from him! He's a dad that cheats! That's a red flag! Yes, that makes total sense because Dee wouldn't know that he's a cheater. She is literally the person he is cheating with. Also, anyone who uses the term red flags is a big, say it with me, red flag. Gabler would never do something like this. This is 100% facts, and that's why Gabler is the best New Era winner. But honestly, this is just kind of hearsay until you see this tweet of Wendell the Weenie pretty much just confirming everything. And then he deleted the tweet because he lied about D not knowing he had a family because she literally liked posts of him with his family. And now, let's take a look at some of the sane people's opinions. Why are y'all suddenly discrediting D's win? Because of the scandal? I truly need y'all to be for real, for real. That's like me saying, hey guys, we shouldn't discredit Dan Spiro's game. Like, what do you- So can you stop dogging on Dean now? Where's the misogyny still jumping out? The fact that this person used the term misogyny for a woman who is literally helping a man cheat is beyond funny to me. I don't blame Dee at all. We don't know the facts. Let's stop being so mean to a woman who has just recently had a huge increase in fame. Yeah, man, it must be so hard to be on TV and have a million dollars and get to sleep with whoever you want to and still be called a queen. So you're all out here all week calling D a home record, but this man is the one who cheated and wasn't honest. Make it make sense. Be better. Stop blaming women for all this kind of stuff. Guys, let's put our thinking pants on for two seconds. No one is saying that Wendell is not in the wrong. Wendell is probably in the more wrong than D is, but they are both in the wrong. The only reason people are not tweeting about Wendell is because he is irrelevant. He wants Survivor like five or six years ago. D just won like a month ago and her entire story was about family. So it is very weird to hear on Twitter that, that she is ruining someone else's family. So obviously people are gonna be like, what, what the freak's going on D? What, what, are you, what are you doing? Nobody cares about Wendell because we pretty much already know he's a jerk from his seasons. Now this one is actually kind of baffling, okay? This person made a pretty good tweet where they're like saying like, hey, even if you don't like Dean Wendell, you shouldn't attack them, just unfollow them. And then someone be below it commented, this actually made me like them. How brain did you have to be? And Survivor Obsession has lost literally all respect for me, even though I didn't have any for them in the first place. Look at this absolute crap. And if any of you are out there that are subscribed to me and are watching this and don't see anything wrong with what D did, Please leave my channel and never come back. Peace. But yeah, guys, that's going to be the end of this video. Um, D and Wendell are horrible people. And yeah, um, they're just terrible humans. Cool. Yeah, peace. Bye. Hey, everybody. This is Bruce here for Season 45 Survivor. Now, I, Bruce, the greatest Survivor player to ever exist, the man that all of you subscribe to Meme View. Uh, that's M-E-M-E -E, View. Um, and hit the like button. Or if you don't, you end up like me on Season 44. All right? You don't want that. Do you? Ah, peace! <laughs>